It all started with a phone call. In July, President Donald Trump spoke to the newly elected president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky. We had a perfect phone call with the president of Ukraine. But the transcript of that phone call reveals that Mr. Trump put pressure on Mr. Zelensky to investigate Hunter Biden and his father, Joe Biden, the potential Democratic nominee for the 2020 presidential election. The gist of the accusation from Democrats against Donald Trump is that he's essentially both abused his office and betrayed the national interest by putting pressure on Ukraine's president to investigate a political rival and that President Trump withheld military aid, vital military aid for an American ally until the president of Ukraine did what he wanted. The Democrats are hoping the current impeachment proceedings will help to reduce support for Donald Trump. But could they do the opposite? The committee will come to order. Good morning, everyone. Right now, hearings are being held in the House of Representatives, where the Democrats have a majority. It seems fairly clear that the House will vote to impeach President Trump. At that point, the trial will move to the Senate. In order to remove a president in a Senate trial, you need a two-thirds majority. So you'd have to get all the Democrats plus about 20 Republicans. If you get into the polling on impeachment and removal, Republicans do not want Donald Trump impeached or removed. So it's very hard to see lots of senators, lots of Republican senators, voting to convict him when their own voters are so strongly supportive of the president. So that's to say nothing of the you know, merits of the charges or the evidence against him. In pure political polling terms, it looks really unlikely that you get enough Republican senators to move on this. And history is also on President Trump's side. Of the three previous presidents who have faced impeachment, none have been removed by the Senate. Andrew Johnson was impeached and was one vote away from being removed from office. I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. After the Watergate scandal, Richard Nixon resigned before he could be impeached. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Bill Clinton was impeached, but was saved in the Senate. And in the midterm elections during the proceedings, his party in fact gained seats. President Trump's support base is likely to remain stable, whatever questions are raised about his conduct as a result of the impeachment hearings. Polling suggests that the more partisan the hearings appear, the more likely voters are to behave the same way and back their own team. The polling now on impeachment breaks down pretty much the same way that approval of Donald Trump breaks down. So those two things have come into line. Donald Trump is not a hugely popular president, but that said, he does have a sort of bedrock of about 40% support. That's about the same share who are opposed to impeachment. For the most part, Mr. Trump's supporters have stood by him. Trump's net approval was at its highest at his inauguration. By the start of 2018, it had fallen by around 12 points. Since then, it's remained relatively steady, apart from a dip in support during the government shutdown earlier this year. Since the impeachment proceedings started, his approval ratings have barely faltered. But could impeachment actually increase support for Mr. Trump? If you talk to people at the White House, what they will say is, oh, all this impeachment talk is good for us, you know, that it'll help President Trump in the polls. They're saying, actually, it'll be an electoral boost to us. I'm not sure about that. I'm also not convinced that it helps the Democrats a huge amount. If you go back about a month, the House leadership was still concerned that impeachment might really backfire for Democrats. That if you're a Democrat running in a marginal seat or a district where Donald Trump did well, that actually it would hurt the Democrats' chances of re-election. The majority of voters in key swing states oppose President Trump's removal. So impeachment might not harm him in the way Democrats would like. They have long believed that Mr. Trump should pay a price for his norm-breaking behavior. The witch hunt continues. But given that voting to impeach him is a risky decision for Democrats, why have they chosen to do it now? A lot of Democrats went to the speaker and said, listen, if we don't impeach the president for this, what, what do we impeach him for? And there was a sense that they'd be giving him a free pass for all sorts of behavior. I'm announcing the House of Representatives moving forward with an official impeachment inquiry. I think Democrats genuinely believe that what he did in his phone call with 
President Zelensky was very bad. And I think, privately, there are quite a few Republicans who'd agree with him on that.